What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Polly C, coming at you with another quick episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. And in today's episode, I thought I'd recap how I vacuum or how I discovered an easier way to vacuum these commercial stairwells. There's about six levels of stairs here. And I was going to get a cordless. I actually bought a cordless and it, the battery pack only lasted for 30 minutes. The battery packs were very expensive. So I started to recalculate and think this through. And what I do now, you can see the cord running down. So I go up the elevator, bring the shop vac up to the top. Then I go down to, or then I walk down backwards with the cord and extend it all the way tight, all the way down to the bottom level, parking, basement area, plug it in, and then I'll ride the elevator back up. You can see here's the elevator. The stairwell is just to the left in the photo, or the video, right over here. As you can see, this is the east stairwell. I have three stairwells in this particular building. They actually decided after I cleaned this year, um, they were just amazed with how much I got out in the vacuum. So they actually hired me. You can see that plug way over there. So if you go down, you have to plug in there. You have to put the safety sign up so no one trips over the cord, which is in there. I'm not using that system anymore. And you have to put, go down with the cord in your way so now i just go all the way to the bottom when i'm done vacuuming i unplug it wind everything up i will catch the elevator back up to grab my buggy and my sign but from now on and this took me as opposed to 45 minutes to do a stairwell 45 minutes to an hour this actually took me 30 minutes to get from the top to the bottom which is I mean, time is money. That's an extra 20 minutes off of the amount of time. So you can see here, and then I will show you as I get further along on this commercial carpet, um, as I work my way down, we're kind of discovering this process together here today. So I thought I would have my wife film it. And basically, as I go down, I just kind of kick that cord and it will continue to go down backwards. I will use, I was using a 16 gauge cord this time, but I'm going to use my 100 foot 12 gauge cord, which is the yellow cord, only because it's thicker and heavier. And so it won't get wound up or bunched up. It'll just slide down the stairs backwards as I progress down. And you'll also see when we get a little bit further down here, I will actually decide to remove one of the uh, vacuum pipes that's on there. And you can see it's kind of long, so I have to go halfway, then kind of catch it. And this particular head on the vacuum, what I did was this was my squeegee one for tile. I just the squeegee pulls out of the center of this particular head. So that just leaves an open vacuum port and it is just the perfect size for stairs. One good sweep across and then get the bull nose. And where I need to, I'll come back up on the face plate if I need to get that. The corporation or the property management has decided to hire me to come in and do all of the three stairwells and all the hallways. I'll do the hallways with my Hoover Hush Tone commercial vacuum with the beater bar and everything. I've got five, almost six levels, depending on the basement parking area. There's a little carpet down there, but I'll be doing that as well. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna do all the stairwells. And then later in the week, I'll come back. I might do a couple floors and then later in the week when I'm back in the area I'll do a couple more floors basically what they want to do I set a proposal up for every two weeks but they didn't have the budget for it so what they wanted to do was do it once a month which is fine I clean this every eight to twelve months 
I think you may have seen the cleaning a couple of videos back. So it's only been maybe a month since I cleaned it. And not too bad a shape, but there's a lot of dogs, pet, pet hair. Uh, sometimes they leave the doors open when people are moving and the wind blows through the courtyards and will send dust and leaves and stuff onto the carpet. So it does need to be vacuumed. So once a month, I pretty much am set up under a contract now to do this every month for these folks. I've never really done just vacuuming, which is interesting, but they were so impressed with the difference in the vacuuming versus what they were paying for from the maid service. And if you go back and look where I put uh, the leaf blower carpet cleaning, <laughs> you'll see, oh my gosh, it had been years. And then every time I come to clean it, I had to thoroughly vacuum it because there was so much crap. So they just decided, hey, we'd rather have a thorough job done once a month, break it up however you want to. If you want to do, want the first week of the month, do the stairwells, the third week of the month, do maybe floors five, six, and then the next week, as long as it all gets completed within a month, you get the idea. So pretty interesting though, if you're a carpet cleaner and you are looking for additional services that you may be able to offer, go into these commercial units. And what I would do is get your, get your shop back. Like this one's a craftsman. It's a five peak or a, yeah, five peak amp, excuse me, five peak, peak amps. And it's a four gallon unit. I did put a fresh bag in here. You can get, I think I got 10 bags for $18 on Amazon. So less than $2 a bag. And I'm making plenty of money doing the service. So I definitely want to have bags. I don't want to be blowing dust out the back end of the, the shop bag. And like I said, the Hoover Hushtone commercial vacuum, I tested a couple different options and that was quite a little bit difficult and then I found out that the brush roller would actually catch the edge of the bull nose and it would leave a like a burn mark or a black mark on there so that was not an option and then I did get a I bought a Ryobi I don't show that on here um, I returned that Ryobi leaf blower that I originally blew all the dust down when I was cleaning these stairs that was a mistake but i returned that it was about a 119 dollar unit and i picked up a ryobi 18 volt cordless uh, vacuum which was pretty nice but the batteries ended up costing extra the batteries only lasted for they say 30 minutes didn't even last 30 minutes so had to tank that idea i tried the backpack there's a pro team backpack uh, unit that is down in the maintenance guys workshop in the building here so i tried that and that just didn't didn't seem to do what i wanted it to do it was kind of bulky having something on your back while you're you know walking down these stairs can be quite dangerous at least for me so you can see here looking good with this particular vacuum head there's no wheels it's just an open port so it tends to really do a good suction if you just pull back rather than fighting it forwards and backwards here you can see i went ahead and removed one of the pipes oh my goodness christmas miracle much much easier you get more surface the suction is seems to be even better pulling up a lot of stuff off these carpets. It's hard to tell because they're kind of a flat commercial carpet, but at the end of the job here, I will do a bag reveal. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Let's see what the bag picked up. I'm thinking not too much, I wouldn't think anyway. You know, a little debris and whatnot because I cleaned it a month ago, but there's a lot, a lot of traffic here, a lot of dogs. One of the clients in the building has a child, a young uh, one or two year old. And the last time I cleaned it, she was there and she said, oh, thank you so much. My daughter likes to crawl up the staircase. And when I get up there, she's covered in dust and the tons of cat hair and dog hair. Oh, yeah. 
Miguel. <laughs> this was a new bag. It could definitely hold a lot more, but let me show you. The beauty of putting a bag in there, you don't have to put a filter or a stocking over the, the vacuum motor because nothing's going to fly up into the motor. You get ultimate suction when you just leave it uncapped. No filter because the ba it's not going to go through the bag. Let's cut through here and see. It feels pretty heavy, surprisingly, to me. I'll have my wife zoom in. She hates it when I do this because I got to go home, wash my hands, take a shower. <laughs> and, of course, I will be flipping at it, and it'll be going up my nasal passage, all the dust, which is terrible. But, hey, I'm doing this for you guys and gals, only on Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning's YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's three stairwells, four or five levels each stairwell. So, but I just cleaned these a month ago. Look at that. That is phenomenal. So, yes, this trick works. Very easy. 30 minutes per stairwell. If you go backwards with the heavier gauge cord, it's just going to slide behind me, holding the vac in one hand, vacuuming with the other hand. Oh yeah, look at those results. See you in the next one.